Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you execution cycle process in .NET, how it works, what the behind strategy, what behind mechanism, how it works, how it works sequentially all together, why, how. We have to discuss all things in a one short video. Okay? So, let's start. Let's go. As you see in this figure, the first three blocks C sharp vb.net and other.net. The next block is MSIL. This is a huge one. And the last and the final one is native or machine code block. This is the other one. The last final stage. Now, now we have to start. We have to write the source code in C sharp. Then compile it using the C sharp compiler. CSC.exe into an exe file. This is a file generator csc.exe is a compiler okay it output the msil code and a mean piece into a read only a part of the exe that has a standard pe portable executable when the compiler creates the output it also import a function named curry exe main from the dotnet runtime these are all things in a runtime okay when the application is executed, the OS loads the PE, means portable executable, as well as any dependent dynamic link libraries, DLL, mean DLL, okay? First thing you remember it, OS can't execute the MSIL code. The entry point is just a smaller stuff that jumps to the core exe main function into MS core.dll file, okay? Again, be careful. MSIL code cannot be executed directly because it's not a machine executable format. The CLR compiler the compiles CLR compiles the MSIL using the just in time GIT compiler into native CPU instruction as it processes the MSIL code. That is a very 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 in deep explanation thank you so much in this video please subscribe it programming fundamentals switch up as your studio is dev